What's up, Bedford? 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 I'm Paul and this is Janice. Let's get into it. Congratulations to sophomore Caitlin Christopher, juniors Renee Baker and Lily Ball, and senior Anita Rossetti, who qualified for the Just Right Creative Writing State Finale Finals competition. Caitlin Christopher received a medal for placing in the top 15 writers in the regional competition, and her poem, Running, received a top three award by the Poet Loretta's at the tournament. Boys baseball, attention all high school boys interested in baseball. There will be a short informational meeting at 2.40 p.m. on March 8th on the west shelf of the competitive gym. Women's soccer, conditioning currently need 2.45 till 4.15 p.m. Mondays through Thursdays, Tuesdays are from 6 to 8 p.m. Triarchs are March 13th from 15th from 2.45 until 4.45. 4.45 at the community stadium. No prior experience is required. To follow the team on Instagram at Bedford Women's Soccer. For more information, please contact us at bedfordwomensoccer at gmail.com. College visits. Min Monroe Ke uh, County Community College will be here on Tuesday at March 7, 9.30 a.m. If you're interested, in it, sign up in the counseling office by March 6. Also, Bowling Green State University will be here Wednesday at March 22nd at 1.30 p.m. If you are interested in s signing up in the counseling office by March 21st. Boys track. For those interested in running boys track this spring, please contact Mr. Ole and sign up on final forms. There is a team scootlogy group for the team. And once you contact Mr. Ole, he will provide a code for you to join. If you're on the fence about joining, please stop by and talk to him about details. If you haven't had a sports physical since April 15th of last year, you need to have one before you can practice. The physical should be, upload, be uploaded to final forms. Official mandatory practices start on March 13th, but many runners are already conditioning after school, so if you're not doing any sports right now, it would be great to get some running under your belt before practices start. Spring sports. Students that are trying out for spring sport will need to have an updated MHSAA physical after April 15, 2022, uploaded to the student's finals forms account by March 6 to be eligible for the team tryout. University of Toledo students who have confirmed college visits, please see Mrs. Johnston in the counseling office before Wednesday, March 15th. The Mule Company. The Mule Company is now open during all lunches. Stop in for a snack or to pick up some Bread for Mule merch. Tutors. Anyone interested in becoming a tutor after school, please contact Mrs. Tennant in the Media Center or Mr. Garman in the Athletic Office. Tutoring looks great on your cattle jab. All right. Driver's education. We know. Michigan's driver education curriculum is split into two segments and is required for all teenage drivers to, under the age of 18. You can visit community education on Bedford website for more information. Women's History Month is an annual declared month that highlights the contributions of women in events in history in complementary society. <laughs> all right, and that's it. Here's the video. Michelle Levaux Robinson Obama. You've probably heard that name before. That's because Michelle Obama was our first lady from 2009 to 2017 under President Barack Obama, her husband. You've probably heard of many of the great things she's done and many of the great achievements she's made. But it all started on January 17th, 1964, when she was born in Chicago, Illinois. She was raised in the South Side of Chicago and graduated from Princeton University and Harvard Law School, both with successful degrees. She worked in a legal career in her early life where she met her future husband, Barack. She worked as Dean of Student Services at the University of Chicago following this, as well as the Vice President for Community and External Affairs of the University of Chicago Medical Center. She married Barack in 1992, and together they have two daughters. When Barack began the campaign for president throughout 2007 and 2008, she delivered a keynote at the 2008 Democratic National Convention. She has also delivered acclaimed speeches at the 2012, 2016, and 2020 conventions. 
as first lady, she pushed for poverty awareness, education, nutrition, physical activity, and healthy eating. She has also supported many American designers who have been considered fashion icons. Following the end of her husband's presidency in 2017, her influence has remained high. She is one of the most admired women in America and possibly one of the most admired women of all time. When they talk about women's history, you're not going to get very far without talking about Michelle Obama. Hello and welcome to the Bedford Kicking Weather. So let's get started today. For Thursday, we have cloudy and cooler with a high of 46 and a low of 32. On Friday, we have rain and snow of one to three inches, perfectly average if you ask me, with a high of 38 and a low of 32. On Saturday, we have cloudy and breezy with a high of 44 and a low of 34. And on Sunday, we have sun and then it's gonna get pretty cloudy with a high of 47 and a low of 36. On Monday, it's cloudy, mostly breezy, with a high of 54 and a low of 37. On Tuesday, it's cooler, breezy in the morning, with a high of 43 and a low of 37. And on Wednesday, it's partly sunny with a high of 43 and a low of 32. So that's your kicking mule weather. Hello, Ron, back at it again. Apparently we lost Don. Where did he go? I don't know. Well, guess what? Congratulations to our very own Donovan Ort. Donovan was invited to be part of the media team for MHSAA State Wrestling Tournament at Ford Field. Donovan's photo, along with the rest of his media teams, will be uploaded to the MHSAA MHSAA website. Be sure to check them out. Way to go, Donovan. Woo! 